Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Leo. We're going to be taking a look to see what messages spirit has for you. If this video resonates with you, I'd really appreciate it if you like, comment, share, and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. I also offer private readings. So if you want a, if you want, if you have something specific you want insight on, there's information in the description box on how to book a personal reading with me. Um, I most likely will be extending this reading. If you're interested in the extended reading, the link will be in the description box. Um, we will be taking a more in-depth look um, at the outcome of the situation. Um, just more details that maybe did not come through in the tarot. Okay, guys? This is a general reading. This will not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. Tell me to shuffle again. For my Leos, this could resonate... For Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. Alright, messages for my Leos. Messages for my Leos. Temperance. Mm, you guys are going to be, maybe you guys have been very patient with something here. Or you guys have been waiting very patiently. Um, this could also be healing. Going through, through a lot of healing. Taking your time. This could also possibly be a reconciliation. Let's get some more cards out and we can see what's going on here. Hmm. Somebody may be communicating to you about wanting to heal something with you. Possibly a reconciliation. Or you guys are reaching out to somebody to try to reconcile with them. You guys are going to maybe, be, maybe be receiving some type of communication that's going to make you very happy. It's going to bring you a lot. It's going to possibly wish fulfillment for you. Bring you a lot of happiness. Ah, something's ending here. Or it's maybe going to transform a situation. Ooh, maybe some commitment is ending here. What is this? Working on... You guys may be communicating to somebody that you guys are pursuing what makes you happy. And you guys are ending a situation here. You guys are ending a commitment and working on making yourselves happy. Working on your own being more optimistic. Making your life more positive. Justice. And I see this is like your good karma. This is karma coming in. Or this is what somebody is going to be communicating to you that they have done. They may, Somebody else may have ended a commitment here. To pursue their wish fulfillment. Wanting to bring you justice. Yeah, we do have an offer here. We do have the Knight of Pentacles. That's a stable offer coming in. And with Temperance, I was getting the vibe that you, some of you guys have been very patient. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow-moving energy. It's stable, it's reliable, um, but it's slow. All right, so let's see here. Ten of Swords. Yeah, something has come to an end. Mm, somebody was uh, being deceptive here, possibly. Uh, or somebody has been, after an ending here, somebody has, has been trying to strategize. I'm kind of getting more of like a strategizing energy with the Seven of Swords this time. Somebody has been strategizing how to come towards you. Maybe that's why it's taken this person very long or a long time to be able to offer this to you. All right. Ace of Wands. They want to bring you a new passionate beginning. Some of you guys could also be um, dealing with a fire sign. This is, could also be your energy. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for some of you guys. This person, somebody's taking action to, towards a union here. They want a union with you. Ah, oh, what's this two of pentacles though? Mm. This person couldn't make up their mind about this union in the past, possibly because they were um dealing with something else that was toxic. Or they had some type of addiction or type of some type of toxic thinking behaviors. But I feel like this person's taking control of their life now. There is a love offer coming in here. An expression of emotions. This person could have been really holding this back from you in the past. The emperor here in control of their emotions. Like not very much. They weren't maybe being very vulnerable with you. That that caused this person to miss an opportunity. Dealing with toxic crap. Um, holding back their emotions. Not their life being unstable. That's what caused them to miss an opportunity with you. They know that they could have had victory and success with you. That's what they want with you now. They feel like they rejected that for themselves. Like they feel like they missed an opportunity to be successful. I feel like you also made this person feel very good. Three of Pentacles. 
Maybe there was a lack of co cooperation in this in this um relationship as well. This person was unwilling to compromise. They maybe wanted things their way. They were unable to work with you to see things from your point of view. That left you feeling very like they weren't giving you what you deserved. That left you feel that left you feeling very left out in the cold by them. This person was very confused on whether or not they wanted to offer you something. They may have not have been offering you very much in the past. This person could have, that's what I'm saying. This is that confusion. Your person was confused. This is also can be an indicator of options. Your person had other options. And that's what was also keeping them confused. But I feel like they're moving away from that. They're moving away from options. They're moving away from the confusion. This person's going to be a lot more mentally, um, a lot more peaceful mentally. All right. This person is um, going through it because th this may be improving, though. They may be coming out of the state of mind, but your person has been going through it um, because I feel like the, their intuition is showing them what this connection was for them, that this was their wish fulfillment, that you were their person, all right? They're realizing that now, and it's a little too late, you know? And now this person's feeling heartbroken, because they, they rejected you or they missed an opportunity, they feel like here. Judgment. Yeah, they've made the decision that they want to have reciprocity with you, that they want to work with you. They want to take this leap of faith towards you. They've made a decision of what direction they want to move in. They're planning for the future. Or they want to do that with you. All right. This person has realized during this time apart or this pause that they've been taking, they realize that they've done a lot of things to you that they need to apologize for. They want your forgiveness here. This person is maybe possibly waiting though because they feel like they're, when they come towards you, you're going to be very angry with them. It's like they're trying to wait until maybe you're not as mad at them about the situation. When you'd be opening open to maybe communicating with them this person may also feel like um maybe you have reconciled with somebody else or that you're you're getting together with other people it's like maybe they don't know if you're single or not but i'm seeing that they want to invest in you they see that you're doing very well for yourself that you have been like maybe reaching a lot of accomplishments celebrating This person is a lot more stable now. now they, ooh, and you know what? This person is, yeah, this person wants to invest in you. They actually feel that they have something that they could invest, that they feel they have the ability to invest in you now. There's, um, this person has a lot of feelings that they've been holding back from you. It's been weighing weight very heavily from you, very heavily on them. Yeah, this person wants to communicate their feelings to you, how much love they have for you. Your, tra your person was very much like overthinking things, trapped in their head, very mentally conflicted, afraid of being defeated or afraid of rejection. For some of you, they felt like they were in competition. But I feel like they've, they've come out of that state of mind now. They've gained a lot of clarity. They want to speak truth to you now. They may have just had a, also had a lot of external, like conflict external to from your situation. Yeah, there's communication manifesting here. It looks like it's going to come in pretty quickly. Ooh, what is this? This person's going to communicate to you that they're no longer conflicted. They're not involved in conflict anymore. If there was any drama, they have withdrawn from that. They've walked away from situations that um, were not emotionally fulfilling for them. And it's like after... Yeah, it's like after things kind of went really bad, they're maybe walking away from a situation that fell apart too, very badly, possibly a family situation. Or this is them wanting to rebuild that harmony, that peace, that happiness with you after there was a bad ending between the two of you guys. But this person, um, this person's gonna tell you that they felt like there was a lot of obstacles for you guys to reach stability. 
that they felt like there was a lot of things blocking you guys from being able to being able to achieve that it, it like it to them it felt like it was something that was never going to happen all right and that left them feeling very pessimistic very uh, disappointed sad um but i feel like there's something that has ended there's a cycle that's closing out and now there's a new stable beginning manifesting and i'm seeing strength here your person's gaining courage strength here that's what i'm seeing all right guys i hope that this reading helped you i am going to be extending that if you're interested in that the link will be in the description box but if not thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you soon bye